Let us look at proposition number 20 of book 5 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says, if there are three magnitudes and others equal to them in multitudes, which taken two and two are in the same ratio and if x equally the first is greater than the third then the fourth is also greater than the sixth if equal equal if less then less so basically what the proposition is saying is that if we have three magnitudes a b and c and we have equi multiples of A, B, C as D, E, F. And which means A is to B is equal to B is to E and B is to C is equal to E is to F because they are equi multiple. And let's start with the condition that A is greater than C X equally. X equally basically means that if I increase A then C also increases accordingly, maintaining the same ratio. So now let's see how we can prove this. Basically what we have to prove is that A is to C is equal to D is to F. If A is to B equal to D is to E and B is to C is equal to E is to F. Okay, let's proceed. Now we are given that A is to B is equal to D is to E. We are given that B is to C is equal to E is to F. And we are taking a particular case where A is greater than C X equal. So which means if we compare A and C with B then we would have A is to B is greater than C is to B. Here A and C is being compared with a third magnitude. And since A is greater than C, that means A is to B is also going to be greater than C is to B. This is based on proposition 5.8. We are given that A is to B equal to D is to E. And we are given that B is to C equal to E is to F. That means the inverse ratios would also be equal. That is C is to B is equal to F is to E. This is based on proposition 5.7. That means what? That means D is to E is greater than F is to E. Say here A is to B is greater than C is to B. C is to B is equal to F is to E. Yes, and A is to B equal to D is to E. So, what do we do? We replace A is to B with D is to E because they are equal. So, D is to E. We replace C is to B with F is to E. So, D, e is, D is to E is greater than F is to E. This is based on proposition 5.7. Now, remember again, we have magnitudes D and F being compared to the same magnitude. If D is to E is going, going to be greater than F is to E, that means D is greater than F. Again, using proposition 5.10. So that would mean D is greater than F. So what have we achieved? We have seen that if A is greater than C, then D is greater than F. Similarly, we can prove that if A is equal to C, then D is equal to F. If A is less than C, then D is less than F. Which means this. If A is greater than C, then D is greater than F. If A is equal to C, then D is equal to F. And if A is less than C, then D is less than F. Which means that A is to C is equal to D is to F, which is what we had to prove.
So that is proposition 20 of book 5 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it and if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share it. That's it for now.